mini weather station using a DHT11 and LCD 16 by 2 so the components needed for our project will need the DHT11 module will be needing the LCD 16 by 2 and the breadboard We'll need the Arduino Uno. You can use any Arduino for this project. We'll need the I squared C module, which we'll be using with our LCD. Next, we need a few jumper cables to get connected. And that's all. So now let's connect. But first, let's look at a circuit diagram. So here you go. You can pause the video here. Now let's connect. So this is a DHT11 module. I have placed it on the breadboard. Next, I'm going to connect the three pins that we saw. That is VCC, ground and data. So I'm going to connect the VCC to the positive on the breadboard. The ground on the negative of the breadboard. And then the last one, that is the data. I will connect it to the A0 on the Arduino. So once you have connected the data pin to the A0 on the Arduino, we are done with the connections on the DHT11 module. So next, we will go to the I squared module. So have a look at the connections. Place the I squared module carefully on the breadboard. Please see that you don't end up messing with the pins of the module. Once you're done connecting it, you can opt for the next connections. So connect the ground to the negative on the breadboard, then connect the VCC to the positive on the breadboard. Next we are going to connect the HDA and the SCL which is serial data and serial clock. So serial data is that pin wherein all the data is transferred through a single line and SCL is the clock for it. Now these pins could not be some some might not have the label so please keep in mind that SDA and SCL still do exist on the Arduinos. So once you're connected, we can connect the power supply. So connect the 5 volts and the ground to the Arduino. So 5 volts from the Arduino Uno to the positive on the breadboard. And the ground from the Arduino will go to the negative on the breadboard so that's all with the connections for now and now that's all so let's go to the coding now let's have a look at the program we have the wire.h which is a default library in the arduino id we have the lcd library so this lcd library is available in the description now this LCD library is for the I squared C module and the DHT library is also available. You could view my previous video for the exact explanation of this module. Now A0 is the pin where we have connected our DHT11 sensor. Next I have written the program here in brief. Alright so lcd.backlit function actually turns on the backlit of the LCD. So the other functions right here I explained in the previous videos. You could watch them right here. So lcd.clear is a very important function because it clears any of the previous data that was written on the LCD. So please see that if you are editing the program Keep that in mind that you need this function right here. Alright, so I have written the comments so that 
in case if you are making some changes you could please take a note of them now we have this delay here it's 500 5000 so that's the sample rate you could lower it up to maybe 2000 but don't go below that because our dht11 sensor still needs the response time so in case you don't see your file highlighted like this you could watch the video up here now connect the usb so once you're connected with the usb now we are all set to upload the program now you can go to the port and check okay we have a let's hit upload so now our program is uploading and once we have the program uploaded we'll be able to see the output so there you go you can see the output and the humidity is quite high it's hot here so put the setup in a box and you can present it like i have done so this is how I have managed to do it and that's all so happy doing this project make the project now